Next question is from Preacherman Joe. Are there any benefits in adding bands or chains on the big three or any other workouts? Or is it too much overtraining? It, this is one of the most... Oh, I love doing that. It's one of the most effective ways to augment or change your training to produce better results. One of the most effective by far. Now, does it cause more damage? Not really. Chains, maybe. Chains can be pretty... Uh, you really get sore and it beats you up a little. Not bands, though. I mean, I put bands on a squat or on a deadlift or a bench, and uh, it feels good. I don't feel like I overtrain. I, I, I see faster results. Strength athletes have been using bands and chains mm -hmm. forever. I know the Soviets used them way back, and people just get strong doing them. And Now, why, why is it so... What's so different about it, right? I remember when I was younger and I saw people using chains... I thought just put a weight on the bar. Doesn't, what's the difference? Why would you? I thought they were just trying to look cool, right? It changes yeah. the strength curve. It does. I mean, when you lower a weight, the the links hit the ground, so the weight gets lighter. As you get higher with your squat or whatever, the, the links come off the ground. It gets heavier, and it matches your body's strength curve. You, the bottom of a squat, you're weaker than you are at the top. So, what if we had a weight that was heavier at the top and lighter at the bottom? Which that's makes, what they do. So people know it. It really changes that exercise. Because uh, traditionally, uh, the squat's the opposite. Yep. Like it doesn't get harder as you get. It gets it's the much, same. The yeah, time. it's the same. Or actually, gets easier as you get to the top, and it's easier for you to lock out because the weight gets easier as as you get towards the end. When you have the chains, the opposite is happening. So it really changes that exercise. So that's how I I look at this. Is it's almost like, hey, if I've been doing squats for let's say three or four weeks, back loaded, same, same everything pretty much as far and similar load. That's a nice way to kind of change it up. It's almost like changing mm -hmm. the exercise. And the same thing goes like as if you would cycle in and out of exercises is you wouldn't want to do chains and then never not do chains. It's one of those things that you have that's a that's a tool and use it into your workouts intermittently and then pull it out. And I think there's great benefits to yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, in terms of treating these types of lifts like a skill, I think it's uh, one of those beneficial tools, especially when you start to naturally kind of find that limitation uh, load-wise. And, and to be able to introduce this and um, have that sort of bridge between, you know, that next leap uh, in terms of load, um, it's, it's nice to be able to get uh, a bit more weight on the bar and be able to, um, you know, work through that or less weight and make it, uh, you know, add that extra bit of resistance. So you have to kind of fight that extra bit. So uh, I think it's a nice kind of uh, intermediary type of uh, uh, a device and tool and, and something to include if you really are trying to progress forward and it's something that is your goal. Uh, especially if you're a strength af athlete, of course, this is something to consider. Uh, but your average person, I mean, if you're just kind of hitting a wall uh, and you need, you know, to try a new technique, I think this is definitely beneficial in that regard. Yeah, it's, it's one of my favorites. It's absolutely one of my favorites. And when I do it and I do it right, it's like I get great results every time. So if if you're still in your beginning stages of training, focus on technique and form a lot of stuff. Once you get to, to your you know intermediate levels and you want to test new things, start with bands, chains are much more complicated, require, and they do beat up the body a little more. And then watch how it feels. It feels good. It's one of the weird things about it. You put a band on a bench press mm -hmm. and you can feel, and, it feel, and what's that, uh, what's it called that the thing that Mark Bell sells, sells that goes over your arms and slingshot, slingshot. So yeah. slingshot is very similar. Yeah. You know, as you go down, the weight gets easier. And as you go up, it gets heavier. Very similar to resistance bands. It's just a very convenient. Yeah, same, same kind of concept. Mm-hmm.